The Israeli Defense Forces have captured Russian-made weapons at the positions of the Hezbollah terrorist group. This was reported by the local TV channel, Channel 13. It is reported that the weapons were captured during an operation in southern Lebanon. According to Militani media outlet, among the seized samples were 9M131FM thermobaric and 9M131M missiles of the Metis-M anti-tank missile system. In addition, the 9K32M Strela-2 man-portable air defense missile system and RPG-29 Vampire and RPG-27 Tabolga infantry grenade launchers were shown. In footage by the Israeli Defense Forces, an MROA rocket-propelled anti-personnel flamethrower can be seen. Russian-made weapons could have found their way into Hezbollah's arsenals through third countries, most likely from Syria. The possibility of supplies from Russia through exports via third countries cannot be ruled out. Recently, it was reported that the Hezbollah group uses Soviet-made TU-143 race reconnaissance drones as a means of destruction. Terrorists place the launchers of converted race in specially equipped residential buildings. As confirmation, the Israelis released a video showing the moment the building's wall was opened to launch the race. The only country in the region, at least officially, that uses race was Syria. It can be assumed that Hezbollah could receive from the arsenal of Assad's troops. The possibility of obtaining these missiles from the arsenals of the countries of the former Warsaw Pact through repurchase through third countries cannot be ruled out. An unspecified number of flights was received by North Korea, whose weapons have already been spotted in the terrorist group Hamas. In addition, the possibility of supplying these drones from Russia should not be ruled out. Experts say Hezbollah has a wider range of unguided heavy artillery rockets, ballistic missiles, as well as anti-aircraft, anti-tank and anti-ship missiles. Hezbollah has expanded the size and quality of its arsenal since it last fought an all-out war with Israel in 2006. The group in 2006 reportedly had about 15,000 rockets, while unofficial estimates in recent years suggest that this number has multiplied by almost 10 times, said Dina Arakji, an associate analyst at Controls Risks Consultancy. Hezbollah has been launching drones towards targets in northern Israel and the Golan Heights. The group has said it sent surveillance drones on three occasions to film military sites, including the Ramat David Air Base, about 45 kilometers from the border. Hezbollah has said local production contributed to his group's large drone stockpile. Kamikaze drones give a tactical advantage due to their high level of autonomy and have the ability to be launched from anywhere, said Arakji, noting they were inexpensive single-use weapons. Короче, въебали нас. Смотри там аккуратней, пизда птичек. Пизда въебали, вот сюда в окна прилетел. Все живы, спрыгнули вовремя. An Israeli airstrike struck a residential building near the Lebanese capital Beirut on Tuesday, causing damage and blowing out windows in the area. The strike appeared to hit an apartment in the building on the southern highway leading up to Beirut International Airport, and about 100 meters yards, from the Iranian embassy. The Israeli military said it carried out an attack in Beirut, without giving further details. There was no immediate word on casualties. Oh, no. 